Hey everybody, I'm here today with a video of myself assembling a Boucler Tabaret bar stool. This will be a straightforward tutorial, so let's get right into the video. This is what the bar stool will look like when it's fully assembled, but for now, it is not, okay? So essentially you have two pieces, you have the bar stool seat, and then you have the actual bar stool base, as you can see right there. If you take a look at the base, there are just four holes, and we're gonna be putting four bolts through those holes um, to, to secure the seat to the base. It's literally that simple. Now, most bar stools that are stationary, because this is a stationary one, it doesn't go up and down or anything like that. Most bar stools that are stationary are gonna be assembled in a very, very similar manner. The hardest part is actually figuring out that, you know, because it looks like an L, so figure out does it go like this? Or does it go like this? And obviously this is a low back bar stool and the holes are only on one side, okay? So I'm gonna put it in place right there and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing, okay? Let's get the camera over there. I'll show you the hardware and I'm just gonna flip my screen so you can sort of see what I see. The hardware that comes with it is very simple, four bolts and an Allen key. So we're gonna be using those to assemble it. Now for full disclosure, I, my wife, not myself, my wife and I, both of us ordered four of these bar stools. Yesterday I assembled three of them. So I kind of became a professional uh, at doing it and now I just wanted to show you how to do it. So once again, this is a Boucler Tabaret bar stool. Now, one last thing, you'll notice that there are only three sides of this. So I'm gonna turn the bar stool around because I want um, the, the foot part to be at the front of the stool. So when you're sitting on it, you can rest your feet on this. So I'm gonna start off by lining it up and I'm just gonna be placing the four bolts um, through those holes and just loosely tightening them into place. And then I'll turn the bar stool on its side to show you exactly what I'm doing. So right now, I am just getting four of the bolts and I'm just loosely finger tightening them in place. So right now, I have one in place. And you want to keep them loose. Uh, whenever you're assembling anything, you want to assemble it very loosely at first. I'll tell you why. You might make a mistake, and trust me, it's easier to disassemble a loosely tightened bolt than something that's been tightly tightened. And at the same time, um, you know, if you to over tighten one of them right now, it might be hard to get the other ones in place, okay? So I already have two bolts in place. It's, it's a very simple process. I gotta hand it to Boucler. I appreciate the fact that, you know, I got these four stools, I was like, it might take me half an hour to assemble each of them, when in reality, it probably took me uh, about five minutes max to unpackage and disassemble each of them. So you'll see, I'll be finished this one in no time at all. So that's the third one, and I'll show you what I did in a moment. I'm gonna turn this stool on its side. Now the fourth one is always the most difficult one because you're kind of trying to get it in at the right angle, okay? Because the other three are holding the stool in place already, loosely. If they were tightened down, it would be even worse, even more difficult, okay? So right now, I've just assembled those four bolts. I'm gonna put it on its side and I'll show you what I did. So let's just, let me get behind the camera and let me sort of zoom in over here. So as you can see right over here, there are four bolts. Two of them are, are sort of hidden behind this bar. But we have one, two, and then there will be three, four. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to just uh, use my Allen key that they provide you with. So for each stool, I also got an, uh, like an Allen key, which is very convenient because I didn't even have to go to the garage to get my tools. I'm gonna use this, and I'm gonna tighten each four, each of those four bolts. So I'm gonna start over here, this is one, I'm gonna tighten it like this, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and really crank it down because I, I, I don't want people to be sitting on it and be like, whoa, this is wobbly. I want it to be nice and secure. So the first one is nice and tight. Now we're gonna crank down the second one over here, okay? So just give me a moment, just like that. And we're gonna crank down that second one nice and tightly, okay? The third one, which is probably hidden from your view, I think, on the camera. But trust me, it's there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna crank that one down as well. Okay, uh, just a little bit more of a turn. And lastly, the fourth one right over here. I'm just tightening it like this first, like that first, and then I go ahead and flip this around the other way to get more leverage, okay? 
Just like that, we're gonna crank this down. Just like that, okay? That's it, the assembly is done. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like, the finished product. So you can see, um, it is nice and secure. That, that stool is not going anywhere. It's not wobbly at all. It looks absolutely fantastic. Um, it, let's just, let's give it a shot, let's go. Let me take a seat, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, that feels great, not gonna lie, it feels great. Perfect, and like I said, I positioned it so my feet can be over here on that bar, okay? Um, yeah, and that's basically it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment, and of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.